In this lesson, we're going to work on writing one variable in terms of another. And so this is going to be really useful when uh, we get to story problems that we're trying to solve where they're asking us to find more than one thing. And so we'll see that in the next section. So we're just kind of laying some groundwork here. So the first example says, I am three inches shorter than my grandfather. If we call my grandfather's height G, what is my height in terms of G? All right. So the idea here is I'm not telling you what my grandfather's height is. I'm telling you I'm three inches less. So what we want is a mathematical expression that represents my height in terms of G. And so if immediately it's not clear to you what to do here, here's a strategy to take. Make up a fake height for my grandpa. Okay, so pretend that my grandpa is, say, 75 inches. Okay, well, according to this sentence, if this is my, if my grandfather's height is 75 inches, what is my height? Well, my height would be three less, right? So 72 inches. So how do I get from here to here? Well, I subtract 3, right? So I took 75 minus 3, and that's how I got 72. All right, so if I use G instead of 75, I can just replace 75 with G and get G minus 3. So this is what it means to write my height in terms of my grandfather's. Whatever my grandfather's is, take 3 away from it. Okay, so G minus 3 is my answer here. All right, here's another one. The sum of two numbers is 30. If we use X to represent one of the unknown numbers, how can we express the other in terms of X? Okay, so again, if you're having trouble understanding what the expression should look like, make up a fake number for X. Okay, so suppose that X was equal to 20. Okay. Well, then the other number would be what? Well, the other number would be 10, right? Because you understand they have to add to 10. So the question is, how do you get from third, uh, the fact that the sum is 30 and that x is 20 to 10? Well, you would say, I'm going to take 30 minus 20, and whatever's left over has to be the other number, right? 10. Well. Of course, 20 was just a fake number we plugged in. In general, we don't know what this number should be. So that means that the other number would have to be 30 minus x. In other words, whatever uh, x was, take that away from 30, and the leftovers would be the other number. All right, one more here. A rectangle's width is 2 less than half the length. Write the area formula in terms of length. Okay, so, um, so we know that the area formula is length times width, right? Area formula is length times width. It's saying write the whole area formula just in terms of length. Okay, so it says the width is 2 less than half the length, right? two less than half the length. So width is, remember is means equals. So the width equals two less than half the length. When you take half the length, we understand that's half, one half times the length, which is L. And then we're taking two less than that, so we're taking away two, okay? So what that allows us to do is instead of writing area equals length times width, we can write area equals length times one half the length minus two. And so there is our area formula written in terms of only the length. 